Major power failure affects homes and transport. Hundreds of thousands of people have been affected by a major power cut across large areas of the UK, affecting homes and transport networks. National Grid said it was caused by issues with two power generators but the problem was now resolved. Blackouts were reported across the southeast, Midlands, southwest, northeast, and Wales. Trains were delayed and cancelled across England and Wales, and traffic lights in London stopped working. At the height of the Friday rush hour, all trains out of King's Cross were suspended. The BBC's Emma Petrie said there was a tannoy announcement asking passengers to leave the station. Boards at Waterloo Station showed no trains departing on any platforms. Harriet Jackson, 26, said there was an apocalyptic scene on Northcote Road, in Battersea, when traffic lights cut out and cars were not stopping. Given it's a Friday afternoon, it's the last thing you want to encounter, she said. Passengers at Newcastle Airport said the power cut out for around 15 minutes, but Heathrow, Gatwick and Luton Airport said they had not been affected. Scott McKenzie, 31, from Cardiff, said various alarms were going off at Newcastle Airport. We were literally plunged into darkness and people were using their phones as torches to see and get around, he added. Around 500,000 people were affected in Western Power Distributions area, with power restored to them all shortly after 1800 hours BST, the company said. Northern Power Grid said 110,000 of its customers lost power between 1710 BST and 1800 hours BST, while Electricity Northwest said at least 26,000 people were without power in the Northwest. UK Power Networks said, we're aware of a power cut affecting large parts of London and the Southeast. Network Rail said all trains had been stopped after a power surge on the national grid but its signalling system had come back online. Passengers have been warned to expect delays. Thameslink said most of its trains were currently at a standstill between London and Bedford. British Transport Police said it had sent officers to several train stations to provide assistance to travellers. A spokeswoman for Transport for London said some traffic lights in the capital were not working but the scale of the problem was not yet known. Ipswich Hospital said it was being affected by the power cut in that area, as its backup generator had failed to work. A hospital spokeswoman.